So this little boy was in school and his teacher, it's in second grade, and his teacher asked him, what's your favorite animal? And he says, fried chicken. Yeah. And the teacher got all upset and yelled at him. All the kids in the class laughed. <laughs> and she, she sent him to the principal's office. Now understand, this little boy was always told to tell the truth. <laughs> so he did. Right? When he gets to the principal's office, the principal laughs and then says, don't do that again. And so the next day in class, the teacher asked him, what's your favorite live animal? And he asked the little, she asked the little That's boy. I, and I told her chicken. She asked me why. <laughs> so I told her because you could make fried chicken out of it. <laughs> <laughs> she sent him back to the office. <laughs> the principal again laughed and says, don't do that again. Jeez. And he said, and the little boy was thinking, I don't understand. My parents taught me to be honest, but my teacher doesn't like it when I am. So the next day, the teacher asked him to tell her, what's the famous person that you would marry? And he said, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> 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 That's where the little boy is again. Really <laughs> like Bill. Bill, I have a question. When when does your subscription to Reading's Digest expire? <laughs> <laughs> Not for a while, Dave. <laughs> Well, he gets these jokes off YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> or Facebook. I get them everywhere. I get them from everywhere. <laughs> Did everybody <clears throat> see the um, picture of the Sunshine Skyway Bridge? You have to ask Anne that when she comes back. I'm here. <laughs> I'm back. <clears throat> Anne? No, she's not here yet. I'm here. Okay. I can't, can't. Can you hear me? Hello. <laughs> uh, tip Ooh. of the day. I don't know if I showed you this last time when we were talking about applications, but uh, there's a wonderful application that, that um, Apple has added. And I want to take a minute and show you that application. I'm going to uh, do a screen share. <clears throat> if you go to the Apple Store, and the Apple Store would be, where is it here? Right there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> and you tap the search button at the bottom, and you type in Apple Support. Oops, I gotta do it correctly. Okay. <clears throat> and it looks like this. Apple support, where is it? Right here. It's a blue icon with an apple in the upper right-hand corner. <clears throat> That's not new, Bill. I've had that for years. Mm, yeah, you might. you might. That's okay. That's yep. all right. No, um, I, I'm just saying, but it's oh, it is very good. I want to open it, <clears throat> and it comes up like this, right? A lot of information here about this is my iPad Air three. Here's all the other devices that I have available to me. Mm -hmm. It tells me my subscriptions down here, right? <clears throat> and then over in the major part of it, it has different things it helps you with. Like if you have a device performance problem, you could click the arrow or tap the arrow 
Apple doesn't work as expected. App doesn't work as expected. What do you do? And it's finding the best options, stops, responds, and close unexpectedly and, or won't open. What do you do? Hopefully it gives me an answer. <laughs> <laughs> close and reopen the app, restart your device, <clears throat> updates. And the last one there is probably delete and re-download the, the app. <clears throat> I did that yesterday because someone's mail was not working and I went through all of the steps. And I finally did the last one, delete the app and re-download it and it worked. So. It's sort of like Google, huh? You don't have to Google it. <laughs> you don't have to Google it. You just use Apple's product here. Right. Okay. So that's the tip for the day. When we were we were talking about messages last time, is that everybody remember that? <laughs> <laughs> That's why we keep taking these classes. <laughs> I don't think I showed you the last feature that I that I wanted to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start the class by finishing up on messages. So if I go to messages on my iPhone, I'm gonna do it on my iPhone because it has a little more has more features in messages. And I tap the, um, I'm going to send it to Ann Ross, right? Now, I think we talked yesterday about typing here, right? To type your message. We also typed, talked about before you type a message, you could take a tape or a recording of your message and send that recording. If you started typing that, that uh, icon to the left of where you typed or to the right of where you typed will disappear. Okay. And you could click the blue arrow, just press and hold it. And it comes up and said, you can do multiple things with it, such as make it a loud message, right? And then we talked about the screen. Whoa. Where you could have different things show up when it comes. So we talked about that. I'm going to send that one. And we also talked about inserting a picture by clicking down here. We, we did talk about adding a video, which is clicking on the, <laughs> the thing that looks like a bad, bad mitten. Rock. Sorry. Hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to mute everybody here. Hey Siri, find iMessage. <laughs> you have no new messages. Okay. And. No, one question, please. Why uh, does in my, uh, iPhone shows it up in green instead of in blue instead of blue. You're sending the message to someone who doesn't have an iPhone. I just followed what you told me. And so the, the you're talking about the two when you type in somebody. And when yeah. you type in somebody's name and that person does not have an iPhone, they have an Android, it comes up in green. Okay. I just put in test, and so how do I know what 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 my last uh, recipient was? I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sending mine to Anne right now, right? If you tap the the icon in the upper left hand corner, right?
Well, let me do one other thing here. Uh, right. If I tap the little icon in the upper left hand, right hand corner there, and it comes up in two, and I put in a name. <laughs> It comes up in green. That person you don't have the address for, or it's sending it to a person who doesn't have an iPhone. If you now tap the photo icon, you can go and insert a photo. You can tap the camera icon And you can take a picture and insert it. It will get inserted. If you tap the badminton racket there, it says images. If I tap that, ooh, they come up and I can insert a nice little video. Okay. And we did talk about tapping where it says find image. And you could actually say, I want uh, a joke. Oh, that would be an interesting one. <laughs> right? Okay, then you get these images show up. All right? So far, so good? Now there's a couple of other ones. Now, not everybody has this. If your device has, um, let me say it correctly. If your device has the capability of facial recognition, does not have a home button, you will have an icon that looks like this one. Okay, now this is only on the iPhones and it may be on the iPad Pros if it has facial recognition. And if you tap that, it comes up with various icons. And as I'm talking, as I'm talking, you see, you see, and if I wink, right? I guess the easiest one there is the monkey. So I have the monkey there. Uh-huh. All right. And if I tap the button, the red button there, And I start recording what I'm saying, I can be sending this to someone. And then I stop and it. I start recording what I'm saying. I can be sending this to someone. So I'm going to send that to Ann. Now, if somebody has that capability, I'd like to get a message from you. <laughs> okay. While, while somebody's playing with that, I'm going to show you one other thing I think we all have, and that's this icon in messages. Okay, and I'll bring it up on my iPad as well. <laughs> That's the one I'm going to show, Jim. <laughs> if you tap the people there, that's this one. Oh, you have the capability of sending the giraffe or the rabbit or other things and showing different emotions. The cool thing about this, and I'm going to do it on the iPad. 
going to do it on the iPhone as well, is on the iPhone, it's, it's three little dots there. You tap the three little dots and you say new Emoji. On the iPad, you tap the plus sign and it comes up and say, what skin tone are you? And you can create your own Emoji. You say, my skin tone is this color. Uh, my cheeks are a little rosy. Okay. I have a beauty spot right here. <laughs> and then you go and you say hairstyle, right? You have to go down, guys. You have to go down a ways to get the guys' hairstyles. Okay. So let me add, uh, let's see, this hairstyle. Okay. And you can play with this and have a lot of fun with it. Your eyebrows, you can change the color of them, right? Uh, oh, and you can change the color of the hair as well. Okay. And you can keep going. Your eyebrows, your eyes, what shape they are. Your head, what shape is it? Lots of different shapes. Your nose. Sorry. Sorry, I lost how to get there in the first place. Okay, let me show you that. We're gonna cancel that one, discard changes. I'm on this screen. I tapped this icon. And if you don't have this line down here, you tap the app icon on the, where you type, on the line where you type messages. Okay, you tap that and you should have this icon. And I'm getting all kinds of message. Okay. Let's see what this one says. Hey Bill, it looks like this works. <laughs> Thanks. And this one, ooh. Good morning, Bill. <laughs> I got that from Ann. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Okay. Bill, I have a question. Go ahead. Um, I have one in there and it has, I have glasses on and I want to take my glasses off. Oh, but man. I can't see. Oh. <laughs> So we went here, clear to brows and eyes. Are there glasses here somewhere? There's glasses, head, nose, mouth, ears, facial, eyewear. And you put glasses on? I have them on my emoji now, but I don't wear glasses anymore. So I'm gonna take them <laughs> off. How do you take them off? Oh, you go to the Emoji and you see where there's pictures without glasses there? Now, wait a minute. Is there one without? Yeah, there's one without glasses. You just go down to eyewear and, and tap one of the ones clear down below. Without the glasses. Without glasses. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I have wire rims. Let's see. Okay, okay, I'll fi I'll figure it out. Yeah. So. <laughs> or I'm here. I've got this one of me with glasses. Okay. 
can I edit it? Oh, I don't know if I can edit it. Oh, that's gonna, you may have to make a new one. Yeah, I don't see a way to edit the one you have. Well, there it is, yes. And I scroll clear to the bottom and I tap there and now I've got no glasses. Okay. Okay, everybody. So that's the things I wanted to show you on messages. I got a message question, Bill. Go ahead. I is there a way to forward a message to somebody else? I have not discovered how to do that. Does anybody out there know if you can forward a message or have done it? I've Googled it and followed the instructions and they don't work. So uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> no. There is a way to delete parts of a message. Let me go to this one. Well, let me go to one that has a little bit more on it. Uh, let's see. So here's a message from Ann, right? If you press and hold any one of the items, and I'm gonna press and hold, let me show you here. I'm gonna press this part and hold it. And then I tap more. And you'll see how there's, when you press and hold a section of the email, or I'm sorry, the message, it comes up and says more along with some other choices. And the one you click on is more. And then you can say, I wanna delete these sections of this message. Right? And then you hit the garbage can and only those sections of the message are removed. Okay? <laughs> So far, so good. I have a question. Mm -hmm. On the emojis, my son always has his emoji like popping out of a cake or, or I don't know, um, doing something silly. How do you get your emoji to do that? Let me tap that. Here's the various things you can do with a one of these emojis. Let's just go. It, it's actually himself. Okay, so we're back. He's using his phone. So here I am, whoops, yeah. Here I am with different characteristics I can do. This isn't out of the cake, but this is different reactions you can have. I haven't so seen how would you make your emoji wave to someone from, say, a boat or, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that one I haven't caught up with yet. <laughs> you want it to be a live emoji, huh? 
Yeah, I haven't I haven't played with that one yet. Okay. Okay. How do you remove your old emoji? You want to remove one? I haven't tried that either. Let's see. I have a tough time just getting them. <laughs> there it is. You can delete it. If you if you select it, so I'll select the uh, I'll select this one, and then hit the three dots, and then I can delete that one. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any more questions about messages? I'd like to spend a little time on Siri this morning. And the first question I have for you, do you have your name in your contact list? And if you don't, I'd like you to add your name to your contact list as we speak. Okay, so add your name to your contact list. Most everybody does have that. The reason I'm suggesting doing that is if you let Siri know who you are, there's a whole um, range of things you can do with Siri once it knows who you are. For example, you can say, Siri, take me home and if you have your contact information in there with your address, it will give you, it will open maps and take you home. For example, here's my iPhone and I bring up Siri. Siri, take me home. Getting directions to home. Okay. So it takes me about a minute to get there. <laughs> Starting walking directions to 634 Buckingham Street. Get the idea, everyone? So that's the reason I want to make sure everybody has their name in contacts. All right. By the way, Ann, are you with us now? I don't think so, Bill. Yes, you are. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't get the picture. It has a big shadow over me. Yeah, your your uh, your sound is way down, but I can hear you. Um. So let's everybody go to settings. I'll go to settings on both my iPhone and the iPad, and I want to do some setup of Siri. Okay. So we go to settings and we scroll down to where it says Siri and search in settings. What do you want to search for? <laughs> and I'm going to turn off. So I can say, hey, Siri, without my uh, phone going nuts. Okay. You press the home button or I press the power side power button on the iPhone with no home button. I press the home button to get Siri, right? On my iPad. I can choose the language I would like Siri to converse with me in. Now I've chosen English Australian because I like the accent, but if you choose, and if I tap the arrow there, there are a lot of different languages and Bearbell might se select German, for example. So she can speak German, she could speak to her phone or iPad in German and it would respond in German. 
Okay. Here's where you could get Canadian accent. I guess they say A a lot. And does uh, they say A a lot? <laughs> um, so you get the idea, everybody, on that one? Now I'm going to hit the back arrow since I set the language. And it says Siri voice. And there are two voices for that particular language. Voice one and voice two. I think one's male and one's female. And I think I have the female one selected. Now, if you select one of these, the Apple program will automatically go to the cloud and download that voice pattern. Okay. Siri response. If we tap the arrow beside Siri response. I have mine set for always. Primarily because I like to get the acknowledgement that something is being done. And the response is, you know, appropriate for what you've asked it. I also have Siri show captions and always show speech. Can you hear me? Very lightly, yes. So speak loudly. Okay, I don't know why it's so soft. When, when it says, when silent mode is off, there, I, what if you're in church and you say always, and Siri comes in, that might be embarrassing. Or to play or something. I'm not sure. I have it set for always because I own, whenever I say something, I get a response. Am I answering your question, Ann? Well, I, it says when silent mode is off. And right. so I guess when silent mode is on, that would be embarrassing. So yeah, always is fine. Yeah. And besides that, no, I won't tell that joke. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make reference to a female having the last word, but. <laughs> the other thing and the important one I want you to set here is you see where it says my information. Tap the arrow there. It opens up contacts and find your name in contacts and tap it. So that it says my information and it has your name. All right. It must it be the first name or the last name? Well, I don't think it makes any difference as long as you, when you tap the arrow and you go to your name in setting in the contact lists, you select that. Oh, can you do that again? I lost it. Okay, I'm in. I'm in set, Syrian search, right? Right. Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And where it says my information, do you have a name there? Mm -hmm. it says yeah. my information right here. Not hearing a response one way or the other. <laughs> yes. Okay, I got my information. Yes. If it says your name here, you're in. If it says somebody else, there it thinks it's somebody else. So when I tap that, right, you go find your name and contacts, and I'll find mine here. And your, the name it's using will have the letter, it will say me beside it. Mm -hmm. OK? 
okay? That way you know that's who, that's who Siri thinks you are. Okay? Where do you find me? No, no. You don't find me. It puts it in there once you've selected that name. So for example, if I tap my name and I say my name is Apple Inc. It changes it to Apple Inc. and puts me on Apple Inc. in contact list. Now I got to change it to... Okay. All right, everybody. Not that. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. Oh, we got it in German. <laughs> <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> It works. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. Hallo, ich bin Siri. Wähle die Stimme aus, mit der ich sprechen soll. There's a female and a male voice in there. Yes, there is. <laughs> Bill, I have a question. This is Anda from uh, Snowy Ottawa. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. In the, in the language listing, um, it does not have Latvian. It, uh, can it be added or it's only limited to the languages that were shown on the list? The latter is correct. It only is limited to those. Okay. So I have to learn Turkish, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing quite well with uh, Canadian English. So. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> All right. So now you have Siri <clears throat> and you can, you can tell Siri some pretty important things. <clears throat> if your address is in there, you can say, Siri, where do I live? And she'll go to your contact information and put it in there and tell you where, where you live. <clears throat> if you said Siri, you're asking a question, I go, help me out here. Hold on. And, uh, but I've since learned a lot about that. Okay. If you said, Siri, um, my, if you have your son's address in there, if you say my son is a particular person, she, 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 she or, or he would remember that. Not what's posted. This is what I'll pay you. Okay. She would remember that. <clears throat> so in the past, I've said, Siri, my son's name is David Crow. David Crow is in my contact list. His address and his email address and phone number are all there. I mean, I don't think we do. I explained the map. Marilyn, Marilyn, you could unmuting yourself. <laughs> Bill, I have a question. Go ahead. When I when I went to see why I couldn't find my way home from Siri, she said I do not have an address. But in my contacts under my name, I have an address. Is that the ad? Is that the contact that's you're using to set as the Siri one? Yes, it is. I didn't get that. And is the address? Is the address in the correct place in settings? It's in, under, in contacts. That is, is in the contacts. It's under address, and then it said Siri found uh, fifteen thirteen Tangier Way. So, but it's gray. I didn't hear that, Ann. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's in. Uh, yes, it's correctly under address, but it is grayed out. Okay, so it's a, it's assumed address. Actually, add your address, and then it'll, it will work. In other words, hit the plus sign, or tap edit, and then the plus sign, and add your address. Oh, 
Okay, thank you. Uh, all right. So I think I told uh, you. How do I add my brother? Is your brother to my yes. contact? Yeah. So for the me, Terry Ann Byoric, I have oh, no. a brother, no, no. and I want to change that. I had it under uh, Foster Jean Dean. I want to change it to Dean Foster. So how do I change that? Or add one? How do I add another friend? You can add another son, another friend, another anything by just saying, "My son's name is." and give it the name that's in your contacts. Now I have done this a lot and let me show you what my contact looks like. After doing it for a while, I ended up with this whole list, right? It says, uh, my I put my anniversary in there. So if I ask Siri what my anniversary is, it tells me. If I ask him, if I tell him to send a message, and I'll do this in a minute, to my grandson right there, there's my grandson. If I say send a message to my friend, I have several friends and it will say which one. So as I went along, Siri created this list in my contacts, in my contact information. Everyone makes sense? Let me show you how that works. And I'm going to, I'm going to remove Ann Ross, hitting the minus sign, and then tap done. Siri, my friend is Ann Ross. Sorry, handsome. I don't see that relationship with Bill Crow. Ann Ross is my friend. Okay. Do you want me to remember that and Ross is your friend? Save. Okay. Noted. And Ross is your friend. So now I've added Ann Ross in here somewhere, hopefully. There she is. Actually, she's there twice now. Okay. And if I say send a message to Ann Ross, it will say which one. <laughs> All right, everybody. In addition to that, many of you say, how did you get your nickname to be handsome? <laughs> I just said, Siri, call me handsome. Right? And that works. So there's a whole lot of things that got added automatically, right, in here. Now, if you're in your home screen and I said, Siri, send my uh, son an email. Let me do it with my wife. Siri, send my wife an email. You have two email addresses for contacts named Patty Crow. Which one should I use? And I'll tap one of them. You have two email addresses for contacts. What's the subject of your email? Uh, dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Okay, what would you like the email to say? What time would you like to go out to dinner this evening? Okay, here's your email message to Patty Crow. Are you ready to send it? Send. Okay, I'll send it. So you just saw what I did there. Without typing, I sent an email to my, to my wife. Can you answer the word yes instead of send? I probably could. 
<laughs> I haven't tried that, but I bet it works. Okay. Oh, sorry, but what do you do if you say, Siri, my friend's name is Niti, and it just doesn't pick it up? Is there a way you can just type in your friend's name? Or spell it? Well, you could say, send a message, and then you could type it in, probably. Hey, Siri, send a message. Who do you want to send it to? Uh, David. Boy, it's thinking about that. What one. do you want to say? Wow, found it. <laughs> Cancel. Ready to send it? Cancel. Okay, let me know if there's anything else you need. So I'm having so much trouble with Siri and N I T I. I understand. And sometimes so, it's it hard with some names. Yeah. So if I say Siri, my friend's name is N I T I. I don't think that will You work. should pick that up, right? Do you have a last name? Uh, Vermani, V E R. No, no, just say my name is Vermani. Well, I think you can edit it in contacts as a way to do it without Siri. Exactly, Bill. I'm just going to say that. Right here, I'm in contact. I got it. It worked. All right. You can go to contacts and tap edit and come down here and you can add someone manually. Right? So I could tap the plus. I, I went to my name and contacts, of course, and I scroll down. Here's all the ones that I've created already. And I could tap here, right? And I could tap, uh, I could tap. Look what I does. Yeah, I tap I. Okay. Mm -hmm, that didn't work. <laughs> I went to my name and contacts, right? <laughs> Tom's my mother. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. And by the way, since I'm there, it put in mother right here. If you tap the arrow, you can change the relationship. You can actually at the bottom, if you tap all labels, oh, don't want that. Oh, other, and you can create your own. Okay. Add a custom label, and you can name it. Uh, I, I'm making one called Great Grandson. G -R -E -A -T. Oh, keyboard, don't do that to me. Okay. Get the idea, everybody? Yes, no, maybe. Um, when I press, uh, let me see here. When I press mother and I press uh, uh, the arrow to the right mm -hmm. and I 
I write down um, restaurant. Restaurant? It still comes out with father restaurant. Well, you should be able to tap add custom label. Where, where did you get that? I scrolled down the list. Add custom. custom label and you type that in. So I go to mother. You tap. And then I I press the the delete button or no. yes. the arrow. Okay. Let me add a new relationship. I press the arrow. Test. And I tap the word mother. It comes up with this list with mother on it, right? I scroll down the list to where it says add custom label. I, when I when I hit it, I only get um, all my contacts. You're hitting the wrong place. You're hitting the arrow. Let me bring it up here. You're hitting the arrow here. I want you to hit the arrow here. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so if I put in Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> We've got some strange people here. <laughs> Hopefully, you have, do you have Whole Foods in your contact list? Actually, what I should put in is grocery no, and no. then Whole Foods as the person. No, well, <laughs> you have to have this name that you're putting in there in your contacts. Because the intention is to be able to link what you have listed there, friend, grocery, or whatever, to an item in your contact list. So if I say daughter-in-law, it goes to young mom Kim in my address book. Here's the address book. And K. And right there is young Nam Kim. And so if I said send her an email, it would go to here and pick up this email address. Yeah. Okay. Serious. Tony, my friend. Okay. You want me? So if I said, send an email to my friend. Which friend? And it would ask me to pick one of these. Sorry, I didn't quite get that. Which friend? Ann Ross. My apologies. I didn't quite get that. Ann Ross. Ann Ross. Uh, I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Send an email to Ann Ross. Which one of these should I use for Ann Ross? <clears throat> What's the subject of the email? Test. Test. What would you like your email to say? This is a test message. Here's your message to Ann Ross. Ready to send it? Send. Okay, I'll send it. Okay. Hopefully Ann gets that, right Ann? 
I got it already. Oh. <laughs> okay. See how that works? Siri, take me home. And it takes me to my home. Getting home. directions to home. I could. I don't understand. I could. <laughs> I say, Siri, give me directions to my son's house. Getting directions to David Crow home. Uh oh, there's a problem. Please try again. He lives in California. There could be an issue there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, I have a question. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. you know when I when I tried uh, to find myself uh, in, in in the address book, there came the name of another friend up there. So that was definitely wrong. So, how, what do I do to delete it? Just have you ever had something like this? So you have in your contact information, you have some information you want to remove? Yes. So you go to your contact information. Yes. I, let me go to mine. And I go down here, I tap edit. Okay. And now you can go down and wherever there's a minus sign, a red minus sign, you can remove that one. So the one I have there for mother with Tom, if I tap the minus sign, deletes it. And then okay. I, and then I delete it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, Siri also has the uh, <laughs> a giant amount of information at your disposal, from the weather to just ask it for general directions to uh, closest restaurant to what's playing. I don't know. I haven't tried that one. What's playing at the movie? Here's what I found. Okay. Open photos. Get the idea, everybody? Can you use it to open applications? When is my wife's birthday? It's on the 11th of April. So you see how that worked? Because she's in there as my wife or spouse. It goes to her information and pulls out the birthday. All right. Any questions about Siri? I recommend start using. Yes, um, Bill. Yeah. Um, I've recently noted that Siri is not responding. Um, I've tried to um, delete the, or I tried to um, disconnect it and reconnect it as Google suggests. But when I say, hey Siri, I get the, hey Siri, then I get the sound. But most of the time, if I ask something, it doesn't appear. Is, what, what's the fix for that? It could be your internet speed. Is this your phone or your iPad? And are you using cellular or Wi-Fi? The phone and I'm on Wi-Fi. And what's the speed of your Wi-Fi? Um, I think it's uh, seven, It's around 75 and 75. 
Well, it should be plenty. So should I just disconnect Wi-Fi and try it with just data? Make sure you have cellular data on. Yes. Yes, I, I do. Okay. All right, I'll try that. Okay. That brings up an interesting point. How many of you know how fast your Wi-Fi is? Yes. What I'd like to do is just take a segue here before I go on to the next subject, which is books. I'd like to take a segue into testing your Wi-Fi speed. Another tip of the day here. If you go to Safari on your device, iPhone or iPad, and you tap the top bar, the address bar, and you type in S-P-E-E-D space T-E-S-T, -E -T, speed test, and you press enter, and you scroll to where it says speed test by Ocala, O-O-K-L-A. And you tap that. And it comes up with that symbol and you press go. So it's speed test by Ocala and it goes out and tests your speed. Wow, I'm doing pretty good. The first item that comes up is your download speed. Oh, and then your upload speed. So I'm around uh, between 50 and 60 megabytes per second. I have seen as high as 150 and as low as five <laughs> on different devices. I got 382. 382? You got a fast one there. David, okay. Call I got a download of 22.8. That's not bad. What's your upload? You know, 22.8 is slow. And if you're paying for- I, I don't see it. I, they just uh, changed my router and put in a new box and I went up to the Internet of 500. Wow. <laughs> and you're only getting 22 now? <laughs> well, this is on my iPhone in uh, the bedroom, which is uh, oh, probably about uh, 50 feet away from the router. Are you on Wi-Fi? Am I on Wi-Fi? Let me take a peek. In other words, on your phone, do you have a, a Hi. <laughs> on your phone? Do you have a fan up here at the top? I should be on. Oh, my Wi Fi is off. Ah, <laughs> for my phone. <laughs> so turn it on, and you may see an improvement there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I have, it's Diane, I have a question. Okay. Uh, since I have a VPN, it's trying to uh, give me the speed where my VP, uh, where my uh, where the VPN server is located. And with the new with a new speed test uh, with a new interface, I'm finding it very hard to change uh, the server. You know how I changed. Uh, where the test is done. Yeah. What? I, don't, I don't know if you can with VPN. Well, you can. I mean, yes. you can with a speed test, but it's, I'm having trouble finding it on my yeah. phone. Yeah. I, and again, I don't have a VPN and I don't usually just worry about changing it. I just am interested in, and I know. Well, because it's not going to be accurate. Now, the VPN, if you're doing a speed test through a VPN, your speeds are going to be dramatically slower. Uh, not, not dramatically. 
They are slower, but not dramatically. But the point is, is that, it, you know, it, it's not going to give me an accurate speed test if it's testing in Miami rather than in Tampa. That's going to be a dramatic yeah. difference. That's so true. I, I'm on Siesta Key and it's showing from Orlando. My MPBBPS is 42 now. You really should, you know, you really should uh, test with the with whatever carrier you're using and uh, in the local the yeah, I'm gonna, location. I'm going to do the Frontier. That's that's who I use. But I, I'm having trouble on my iPhone getting into Frontier. Okay. That's what I'm asking. How do I find it? I mean, I'm tapping around here and uh, nothing's happening. Bill, what happens if your download's okay, but your upload is way little, like most, 11? Most of our communication with the internet is download. Okay. You download a whole bunch of messages, but you only, or emails, but you only send something back far less time than that. So that's why the upload so okay. little. No, <laughs> usually they don't worry about upload speed so much i see okay bill what if what if they tell you you're paying for all this big speed but you're not getting it <laughs> uh, okay what you need uh, actually i called them i called them and i told them i was paying 71.99 a month yeah and my speed was very low it was like in the 50s yeah and uh that i found another company that would give better and they said, well, you know, we just started uh, this new 500 and we'll give you for cheaper. So now I'm paying 66.49. And I just now did it with Frontier. I took a look and um, I guess Frontier knows that I'm not in Orlando because my download is 158.9 and my upload is 129.1. Wow. That's a big difference from Orlando. Okay, I'm going to okay. change. <laughs> Okay, uh, Bill, on my phone, I'm Bill, to answer one of the questions that was Bill, asked. I'd like to ask a question. Let me, uh, hold on, Jim. You see right here, it says go. I'm on speed test, and down here it says frontier. If I put my finger right there on my phone and pull up, I can change the test service and pick something else. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, can you do that one more time, Bill? I'm, tr uh, I'm trying to do that. I'm at speed test, and it says go here. Okay, let, let me just get to that. Yeah. Bill, can you read the speed on my phone? I'm not even looking at, I'm looking at my screen. Uh, I can't see anything. 790. 790 megabits per second? That's really good. Yep. <laughs> now you, you, have a, you have a line under go. I don't. Okay. Well, I, have on, I have go in a circle and then I have packet hub. Yeah. And I'm then a, I'm and a, now it's coming up Blackburn Technologies, Miami, Florida. It's different every time. I know. Are you sure you're using the speed test I chose? Looks like mine. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe if I go in, I have the app on my phone, but it should be the same thing. And then once I, I'm finished with my speed go to the test. Website. Go to the website and see what you get. I am at the website. Okay. You said you had the app on your phone. Yeah. Uh, I could be, I, I could try using the app on my phone. Oh, now I have the thing. Hold on. Uh, uh, I, I touched the, the line underneath the go, but uh, it gave me the speed test again. Pull it up. Uh, it's in the middle of doing it. It'll be over in a second. Okay. 
Okay, Jim, you had a question? Yes. Mm -hmm. On mine, it says the download is 542.20. Oh. Yeah. And yours is saying like 48 or 50 or something. Right. Why would that be? You're paying more money than I am. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but mine says download is 142.2. Wow. Are you Seems a huge discrepancy. Frontier. What? Comcast or Frontier? That's with Xfinity. Comcast. Comcast. Okay, I'm with Frontier. I don't, I don't know if they offer that speed yet. Well, that's interesting. Bill, no, Frontier just un released a two gigabyte speed service. What do they charge for that? <laughs> One forty-nine. Really? Okay. Oh, I have a question. Okay, but like I said here on Siesta Key. Yeah. I'm paying, because I call them and complain, I'm paying $66.49 a month for getting right now a download of 158 and an upload of 129. And, and uh, they, they changed my box to a, a, new, a new box. Yeah, that's Frontier. And they, they changed my router. And hopefully I also have more security. And that's Frontier? Yeah. No. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm due for a phone call. I haven't had much problem in the speed. You know, I, I think you are due for a phone call because they just started this in October. Okay. Hello? Yes. Well, can, you, can you hear me? Just barely, go ahead. Okay, I have download like speed, but I do not have upload speed. You're not getting an upload speed? No. Yeah, I've seen that before too. You have Frontier or Comcast? Xfinity. So you have Comcast. Okay. That's that's what I have, and I I'm the same. Do you get it? I just brought I just brought up the latest offer from Frontier. They're offering 500 500 for 44.99. Right. And it includes a hundred dollar Visa reward card, um, but it's only for twelve months. So. It was Presumably, at some point, uh, you're going to have to pay more. Who, who is that again that's doing that? Frontier. That's for Frontier. Frontier. And I'm also on Siesta Key. So I'm getting, it says Frontier Fiber Internet 500-500 for $44.99. $44.99 and a Visa card? $100 Visa card with a new router. Um, one year price guarantee. So who knows what happens after a year, but you can always renegotiate. Um, and, but by the way, um, Bill, I previously asked about Siri not responding. Yeah. <laughs> well, I did the speed test. I did the speed test. I'm 1.5 up and 2.6 down. One. So I've got a problem. I have yes, a problem. You do. <laughs> 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 I, I'm jealous of anyone that's saying, you know, multi hundreds. So I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks for that. Bill, can you tell us what the uh, usual or average uh, uh, download and upload range should be? As you can tell, they're all over the place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My upload is 2.65 and uh, two, two zero. Two point six five. Yeah. So what's what's a healthy or, or acceptable uh, range with for the download and upload? I would say above thirty. You're talking about upload. Download above thirty, upload around thirty as well. Mine's fifty. So there are so many factors to determine that, including what you're doing on the internet. How many people are sharing your internet? How many yeah. devices are connected? Yeah. It, it, yeah. These all are factors. Okay. By the way, I've got a I've got a mesh system, and and so my problem is not with the mesh; it's with the it's with the uh, actual um, delivery of the speed to my router. Yeah. Who do you have? Who's your internet provider? Frontier. Really? No. Yeah. What is a mesh? Oh, wait, um, wait a minute. 
a mesh network. Hold it, Dave. Hold it. Hold it. Frank, a mesh network is one that allows you to extend the range of your internet, of your Wi-Fi network in your home. Google sells them and some other people sell them. And it's different. You just plug in boxes at various places. Okay. So the cost is, what's the cost? Anybody know the cost? It's about, I paid about $200 for three, three, three mesh devices. Yep. And the reason I did this is because I've got a house with lots of walls and yep. I, I was losing um, speed it, when I was far away from the, uh, from the um, main uh, router. Okay. All right. Could you answer my question, Bill? Say again? Well, there are two of us that only have download and we do not get uploaded. Right. And that I can't explain. Not sure why you're getting that. Can you explain why there's a big black blob over my nice waterfront here? No, it only becomes an issue if you're having, if your system's running slowly when you try to get something on the internet. But it's a good thing to check every once in a while. If you're streaming. Yeah, if you're streaming, yeah. And you're buffering, you're getting buffering. Well, for example, you're streaming right now in Zoom. Mm -hmm. And if it's working fine. For some reason, my internet speed is, is like 57 download on my computer and on my, uh, on my uh, tablet and iPhone, it's in the 20s. What? 20? In the 20s, like 21 Understood. megabytes download. Okay. Uh, which is so bizarre. Uh, wouldn't that be because she's constantly streaming on no, uh, different uh, apps? No, anything, you know, anytime, even if I'm just on the internet and I'm not streaming anything. I shut off my router, turn it back on, it goes up to 50 megabytes, and then by the next day it's down to 20 computer, which is really bizarre. That I don't understand. Is your, is your computer connected? Uh, probably not, although I have to look for such a maze of wires, I'd have to check. But, uh, if your computer is wired, hardwired into your router, that's going to be faster than Wi-Fi. I know, yeah. Yeah, I'd have to check all the connections. I have a million wires here. But you're right, it would be faster. But you know, the weird thing is, is when I shut off my router and turn it back on again, my mobile devices uh, go up to 50 uh, somewhat uh, megabytes, but by the next day it's down again. That's what I don't understand. I mean, it can get up to 50 megabytes. <clears throat> That's what I'm paying for. Okay, let's switch gears. Right, yeah, I have to call uh, Frontier. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'm going to go to something called books. Yes. Oh, yeah. Book. Um, and most of the time, I recommend that you do books on your iPad. On your <clears throat> iPhone, it's a little more um, <laughs> challenging, although my son does it all the time, and he doesn't have a really big phone, but he reads books all the time on, the I, on his phone. The app for the Apple books looks like this. And if you open it, again, you have some icons across the bottom. It says read now, library, bookstore, and audiobooks. So this is the Apple bookstore where you can go and get a book. And do you have? I'm sorry, I, I had to leave to get my iPad. And what, what area did you go to to get here? Well, I just went to the books application. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think there's anything in settings. No. Okay. Now what I'd like us all to do is get the latest iPhone or iPad user's guide. Now I have the older ones up here. So how do we get a new book? Is there a new one? We click the search bar at the bottom. And then we type, let's call iPad. iPad users, oh, okay, so I tapped in iPad users guide, looked like there's one there, what's this one, I click on that one, that's for 15.2, oh, this looks good. So I typed in iPad user's guide, I pressed enter, and it, and it lists iPad user's guide, and that one happens to be 15.2. I click get. I have to put in my Apple password. Okay, and I'm downloading the book. So I'd like you all to try to do that. Wait a minute, Bill. Mm -hmm. I didn't get, I, I couldn't get the, the latest one. So did you? I put in iPad user's guide. And pressed enter. Don't, don't select one of the things that shows up. Oh, don't select one of those. Right. Okay, just press search. Press return. On the press key. return. I don't have a return to press. Well, search. I guess. Search. Okay. Okay, search. All right. And the first one that comes up. Oh, 15.2. Yes. Okay. All right. 15.2. Is that the latest? Got it. Okay. So how are we doing? Everybody getting that? I don't see a 15.2. Did you? <laughs> First one. Did you press return or search and not select from the things that showed up? No, I'm in a bookstore with a different screen than yours. Are you at the same, you're using the I've, I've I'm iPad. using my mini iPad. Yeah, but it should say books, right? It's, yeah, it's Hold on. let me go back. Application, right? And you clicked on that particular application. And then you click search. And under, oh. And then and when search comes up, you type in iPad user's guide and press the search key return, whatever that key is. Okay. Okay. Don't try to select from one of the ones that show up still shows a different format. It shows horizontally. That's okay. okay. But I don't see any um, whatever you called the 15 point something. If it says iPad 15.2, don't click on it. Yeah, that's the first one. That's the first one that shows up there. Yes. That's okay. okay. I'm doing something wrong. I'm not getting it. That's okay. That's and then get put get. Yes. 
Gerçekte. Sign in with Apple ID, so I must be on the right place. You're in the right place. <laughs> Good. Now I have to look it up again. <laughs> they need your ID and password. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to click on read. And it comes up like that, right? And it shows you first page of the book. And I can turn the page by putting my finger here and drawing it this way. Get that, Bill. Say again, please. Um. All I have at the mind is it says iPad models compatible with iPad OS 15.2. That's all I get. And then this guide helps you get started using iPad. Right. I don't show the, all the other the pages in the blue print that you have. <laughs> You click read, right? Yes. And do you have the little dots and the center across the top? Mm -hmm. This little icon. And the double A's and this search bar and this little, uh, it's called a bookmark. Do you have those across the top? No, all I have is the iPad user guide. Like in the middle, what you have. But mine's on the right side. Tap the screen. Yes. Now do you have some controls at the top? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I have the controls at the top now. OK. Now you should be able, yours only says this yes. portion. You should be able to put your finger over here and draw it this way and go to the next page. It made it all yellow. Oh, okay. I did turn the page. Okay. Thank you. I'm, this yeah, I think I'm. Lesson, how to turn the page. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've not done this before. <laughs> well, I, I just like the, uh, the, um, the visual. See the page turning so nicely. <laughs> All right. It doesn't turn, Bill. It has a dot at the top. It goes down and a line. You tap the screen and you should have some controls that appear at the top. Mm -hmm. I have all that. You do? Yes. Good. Tap the one that says the dots and dashes, three dots vertically and then the dashes beside the dots. Okay. Tap that. That's the table of contents you're looking at. Okay. And what you can do is say, I want to learn something about the basics. You just tap where it says basics. Everybody able to do that? Yes, no? And Bill, something interesting for me, it not only gave me the iPad 15.2, it gave me the iPhone 15.2. You got both books? <laughs> Both of them came at the same time. Is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have to pay for it, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're all free, so. <clears throat> all right, so let's go to, scroll down to where it says. I didn't get there, sorry. Well, did you tap the screen? I'm on tap the screen and tap. The items that appear in the upper left hand side. Now, let's see if I do this. It does. Yeah. 
there's a different way to view this, and I'm not sure. Excuse me, Bill. I'm tapping on basics and nothing's happening. <clears throat> Does it say basics at the top of the screen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. <clears throat> I'm still in the table of contents. It's not going to that chapter. I'm not sure what's the problem there. Try tapping somewhere else. No, it's it's not oh, responding. Not responding. Maybe I should uh, delete Close it. The books app and reopen it. Okay. So now, if I if I if I hit the back arrow, it takes me back, and if I look at reading. So if I go back clear to the beginning of the books app, there's the iPad user's guide and I just downloaded. Mm -hmm. And I can tap it and it comes up. Now, what I'd like everyone to do is go to something like, uh, <laughs> let's go to books in the table of contents. Oh, okay. Okay. And it tells you a little bit about how to use books. Now, if I look at the top of the screen, right? If I look at the top of the screen, there's the back arrow at the top here. There's the dots and dashes. That's the table of contents. Over here is some A's. Mm -hmm. Small A. Go ahead and tap that. And you can make the text, if the text is hard to read, you can hit the capital A or tap with capital A and the text in the entire book will get larger. And the number of pages the book has that's at the bottom of your screen, mine is I'm on page 228 of 1231, right? If I hit the A, it makes it bigger, the text. Right. And now it's making all new pages. I hit it again, I can make it even larger and larger and larger. How and I get less and less on the <laughs> Right? You can change the brightness of your screen. You can tap where it says fonts, you can change the font of the entire book. The nice one there is the three, the circles. It changes your background to a taupe color if you do that. And you can make it a gray or black with white lettering. So whatever's easiest on your eyes, you can select. And you can turn on night theme. When, when it goes, when it, that, that turns it to dark background and white lettering at night. And you can make it instead of pages going this way, you can make it scroll. So you pull up to continue reading your book. So that's everything the A does, the double A is there. Mm -hmm. Another really powerful thing is the, the uh, search or magnifying glass there. If you tap the magnifying glass, and you say, I'm looking for, uh, let's say, camera, C A M E R A, and you press search. It searches the entire book and it will give you every place in the word book that camera is mentioned. And in this particular case, there's a lot. I guess I picked an interesting word, right? Oh. All right. 
And the really, I think, nicest feature here, I'm gonna switch back to uh, page mode instead of scroll mode. If you're reading a book and you get to a place where you're saying, gee, I wanna bookmark this because I wanna be able to get back to it. You tap the little bookmark indicator there. And then I go a few pages more and I say, well, I want to go back to that bookmark. Is there an easy way to do that? Mm -hmm. Just the, the answer is yes, of course. <laughs> you tap where it said the table of contents is. And up here at the top, it says bookmarks. You click bookmarks and there's a bookmark that you made today on page 276. Then you, you, tap it, it. you tap it and the bookmark is and you're taken to the place where you had the bookmark. That's what most people those features are the primary ones people use when reading a book. Could you one more time go through the bookmark? Yeah, I'm on page uh, whatever. I'm on my page. Okay, yeah. Okay. You tap. I'm going to make another bookmark. You tap this little icon. Mm -hmm. And it turns red. Oops. And it turns red. Right? And then you continue reading. When you want to go back to one of the bookmarks you've made, you tap the dots and dashes, and you tap, there's the two I've made so far. I tap that one and it takes me to that page. And when I'm there, I could turn off that bookmark by tapping the little red thing in the upper right bookmark indicator. And it goes back to it. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I got a question. It shows that I finished reading the iPad user's guide. <laughs> you were quick. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get it open? Well, you should be able to open it. I can't. It says finished. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're hundred percent, doesn't matter. That's right. Suppose you want to reread something. Well, it comes up as on top as Apple Link and iPad uses group and nothing and the whole page is blank. Okay, let's go back. I'm in there. I'm in the iBook. I click the arrow at the top of the screen. This one. But I'm not in it. The back arrow at the top of the screen? Yeah, I click the back arrow. So I'm now I'm looking at the book. One says read now, one says library, one says bookstore. Yeah. Click on read now. Yeah. I did have now. that book right there. Yes, and it says finished. Okay. <laughs> so click it. Yes. And what's it come up as? And the cover of the book. Right. And circle, and then it comes up as Apple Link on the left, and iPad Users Guide on the right, and the whole screen is black. It has the back arrow. Uh, and, and do you have the little dots for table of contents? No. No. Nothing. I just have the three little dots on top, but that doesn't help me. The three little dots on the top. Click. No, in the top middle. No, that's not it. You don't have this or that, right? No, I don't have any of that. Restart the app. What? Restart the application. Stop books and start it again. Yeah, what I did was I cleared it out of history and I opened it again. Okay, did that work? Yeah. 
No. Oh, no. Double, no. Double tap the home button if you have one. Yeah. I have books there and I'm going to get rid of books. But well, I did that twice already. All right. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on with that machine. How old your iPad? <laughs> it's the iPad Air 2. Okay, it should be. I listen to audio books all the time with it. Yeah. Not in the uh, books app, you know, uh, the library apps. I understand. Well, I have to call Apple anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have a list. <laughs> so do you. Wow. There's one they only want you to read things once. <laughs> one other thing I want to show you. It's kind of cool. Let me go to uh, camera. Oh, Bill? Yeah. I figured it out. <laughs> there were three dots. Now I saw three dots at the bottom where it said finish. Yeah. And I pressed the three dots. That's the more thing. And one of the choices were, was to one of the choices was to uh, 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 something about reading again. Okay. <laughs> so now I'm one percent finished. <laughs> <laughs> you just proved my theory about poke and hope. <laughs> That's right. I had to do it three times. I had to remove it from history, but this time the three dots came up. Okay. Um, I'm in this particular section of a, of, of a page and I want to I wanna take a note. So I push at a particular place and I expand that, right? And I say, note, and I say this, I want to go back here. So you see what I did there. I pressed a particular place. I tap note. So now I have two notes. If I tap the three dots and You'll notice that I went have table of contents here at the top. I have bookmarks and I have notes. If I tap on notes, there are the two notes that I've made. The page they're on. And I can get back to them by just tapping it and it takes me back to that, that particular page with the note. Okay. So you're you're reading the book along. You say, "Oh, I want to I want to really keep track of this particular piece of information." You tap the text. Come on, and you say, "Note." Now you can expand what's highlighted if you'd like, but you take you say, "Take note." Okay. Any questions there? Next subject is, uh, oh, I need to go to alternate places you can get books. And many of you have done this more than I probably. I have all these different applications that I can use to view and work with books. Mm -hmm. Now, not all of them have the features I just showed you <coughs> in the Apple Books applications. Some of them may have different or better ones. I don't know. But if you have a Nook account, you can click, you can download the Nook app and treat it just like you're on a Nook. Amazon Fire, if you're on an Amazon Fire and you click Kindle, is it, what's it called? Amazon Kindle or Amazon? whatever it's called from Amazon. <coughs> the Kindle, you can have the Kindle, right? 
I believe the libraries are now, anybody a book reader from the library on your iPad? Yes. Yeah. What are you using for the app? Our library doesn't have Libby anymore. What's it have? It has Cloud Library and okay. Hoopla. Okay. CL and Hoopla. Okay, so you can use CL or Hoopla, put in your library identification and download books from the library. Yeah, I use Hoopla. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's good in my Michigan one too. Okay, super. So there are alternate ways to get books onto your iPad. After 10 years, a wife started to think her child looked kind of strange. So she had a DNA test done and found the child is not theirs. She told her husband what she found out. I've got to see your expressions on this. She told her husband what she found out. Right? Her husband replied, you don't remember, do you? When we were leaving the hospital, the baby pooped. And you told me to go in and change him. So I went, oh, God. <laughs> went inside and got a clean one. <laughs> <in there. laughs> Maybe one that doesn't poop, right? My <laughs> <I> fainted. <laughs> All right, folks, yeah. any questions? <laughs> Next time, Bill? yes. No, it's Sally, I have a question. On my um, face page where it says books and all that stuff, it has the icon and I get books with it, but it says music under it. How do I change that to book? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what happens here? I, don't, I have a book. I mean, I know it, but I would like it to you say go to book. the books app, and then you go back, and it says music on the bottom line. Yeah, in other, in other words, right on my page where I'm looking for my books app, I realize it says music instead of books. Oh, the icon? Yeah, the icon. Uh, right me... on my home page. Okay, I'm on my home page. Let me move it, books. It's only been that way two years, so. <laughs> well, no, no. You have books. Wait a minute. Okay, there's books. Does it say books under that icon? No, it says music. <laughs> under the books icon? Correct. And you click it and it's music or books? No, it's not music. It's books. It's fine. But I would rather have it say books instead of music. Uh, delete the <laughs> app and reload it from the book from the uh, Apple Store. So delete and reload. Right. Right? Yeah. Will I lose all my books? You shouldn't, no. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bill, yep. may I ask a question? Yes, go ahead. Okay. I've got some confusion with my password and I have one password that I use for my iCloud and another one that I use for my Apple ID. But there seems to be some confusion. Should those be the same? They don't have to be, but yes, they should. So I would change one, one of them. What? I would change one of them. Change one of them. One or the other. How, did, how would I do that? We we'll change the Apple ID or the iCloud ID. Let's let's say Apple ID. Go to settings. Okay, wait a minute. Go. To, I got to go to settings. Wait, a minute, let me just see if I can do that. Settings and then what? Tap your name. Tap the name. settings menu. Okay. Okay. It's password and security. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it says change password. 
and it's going to send you an email or a text message to change it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Guys, take yeah. Yes. Could I just ask one quick thing? I never upgraded to 15.2. How do, how do I do that now? Kind of like a day late and a dollar short here. You go to settings. Yeah. General. General. Okay. Software update. Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh huh. Take care, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Have a good Bye. Time. Thank you. Bye. Have a safe week. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Bye. Bill, can you hold that for just a minute so you can tell me? Thank how you. What will we have next week? Yep.